Do you know who Akshay Kumar? Who's that? Oh, Canadian Kumar. Water God. Ah. Uh, do you know who he credits for a lot of his inspiration for the uh, violent choreography and action sequences in his films? Who? Tom and Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Isn't that great? Josh! Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Racks of Corbin. I'm Akshay Kumar. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to Sports on Patreon. Follow us on social Twitter. You can subscribe and hit that like button. Um, what are you doing? I don't know. What? I don't know. What? I don't know. What? I don't know. Today we got a... Uh, so, uh, our, our Dosty. Dosty? Our future Dosty. A uh, Dosty? Uh, Shah Rukh Khan. Hey! Uh, <laughs> Shah Rukh Khan, our Dosty. I wish. He, uh, he stoked. He was at a festival. I was hoping we'd Lo get to this. Carno yeah. Film Festival. Yeah, I, I saw this. Yeah, he gave an acceptance speech for something. Uh, and I made it a point not to watch any footage on that thing. Good. This is, this is very heavy, uh, is the quote on this. I'm assuming he's talking about whatever award they gave him. Uh, uh, read this. Uh, maybe this is very heavy? That's no, what she no, said. Right here. Huh? Indian superstar and global icon Shah Rukh Khan. Touched down in Locarno to receive the prestigious Pardo Aya Carria Ascona Locarno Tourism the award. The award pays tribute to his remarkable career in Indian cinema, consisting of more than 100 films and a breathtaking multitude of genres. King Kong's visit to the festival has also attracted movie fans from all over the world to make their way to the festival. So, when the icon graced the stage of the Piazza Grande and delivered an energetic acceptance speech, he was met with a visibly moved and excited audience. Wait, Shah Rukh Khan moved people? People showed up to him saying something? Oh, yeah. He looks hot. Welcome the one and only Shadow Khan. King Khan, baby. He looks great. I love his feathered hair. <laughs> Thank you. We want uh, to be your wife. Yeah, Shadow I Khan so I so want to see that he's happen. He's a great artist. He's been carrying the dreams and the hopes of so many people. Is this people. in Switzerland? And through his wonderful, uh, I believe so, work ethic, that discipline, well, he's he made all work. the dreams <laughs> yeah. of many, many, many of us come true. We support popular cinema. We love Shadow Khan, and having him here. Tonight is a dream come true, and these people made a long journey to be here tonight. Thank you, everyone. We are ready. We can, uh, with great pleasure, award Sheru Khan with the Pardo alla Carriera Ascona Locarno Turismo. Wow, that's a mouthful. Thank you very much, and uh, this is very heavy. <laughs> I guess I need to brush up my Italian for people who know Italian here. Oh crap, is it in Italy? I've Signore and signori, buonasera. Nice. <laughs> so very good evening to ladies and gentlemen, and I want to thank you all for welcoming me with such uh, wide arms, wider than the ones I do on screen. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna look. Really pretty, very beautiful, very cultural, very artistic. An extremely hot city of Locarno. <laughs> so many no, people no, no. Yeah, it's Switzerland. in a little square and so hot, it's just like being home in India. <laughs> well, thank you so much uh, for having me here. It's been a wonderful last two evenings. Everybody, including Nazaro and everyone. I love you also. <laughs> all, all romantic interludes after the serious speech. <laughs> It's the Locarno Film Festival. We all need to sound intellectual, okay? <laughs> but they've been wonderful. The food has been nice. My Italian is improving. So has been my cooking. Sapate che so fare, la pasta e le pizze. Why does he keep bringing up Italian? I'm not Which sure. people who don't understand Italian here. <laughs> Means I can cook pasta and pizza also, and I'm learning here in Locarno. But seriously speaking, I want to thank everyone who's been responsible for getting me here first. And foremost is uh, Jonas, 
Brunswick, the Council Journal in India from the Switzerland Embassy. His brother, who's the director for the Locarno Film F Festival, Raphael Brunswick. <laughs> then, of course, there's uh, Jonah Nazaro, who the whole day has been smelling me to find out what perfume <laughs> I'm wearing. I the do, legend of his scent. I do have heard he smells wonderful. Even now, he went and went. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and the incoming president, Maya Hoffman, welcome, ma'am, and may you have many more entertaining here, years here in Locarno. And thank you for having me here. <clears throat> so I, I truly believe cinema has been the most profound and influential artistic medium of our ages, of our age. I've had the privilege of being part of this for many years, and this journey has taught me a few lessons I'd like to share with you. That art is the act of affirming life above all. It soars beyond every man-made boundary there is, goes into a space of liberation. It need not be political. It need not be polemical. It need not sermonize. It need not uh, intellectualize. It need not moralize. Art and cinema only needs to say what it feels from the heart, to express its own truth. And that, to me, is the biggest creativity, honestly. And I also believe there is no creativity without love, which is the language which transcends all languages and is comprehended by everyone around the world. So creativity, love, and giving joy, to me, is one and same thing. And just like, there is no creativity without love. I think there is no excellence without passion and perseverance. It has to be a perpetual struggle, a perpetual run to exceed. And for me, I'm very well aware that art, like cinema, I can only speak about cinema, but art in general does very clearly, very, very clearly involves the embodiment of all emotions in the world, many facets of life, of one being, one person, one unit of people. It is very difficult to be able to express all those emotions, all those embodiments in one lifetime. For 35 years, I've been working. I've been a villain. Mm -hmm. I've been a champ. I've been a superhero. I've been a zero. I've been a rejected fan. And I've been a very, very resilient lover. <laughs> <laughs> And I normally don't go out for occasions like this. I don't know how to relate to people, how to talk to them. I just know how to act a little bit, not too much. But I'm here tonight, and I feel extremely encouraged by the Locarno Film Festival, the 77th edition. I wish you all the best. This award here, which for the life of me I've been trying, I'll ask Sandy again to repeat the name. I can't pronounce. It's the Pardo alla Carriera of Ascona Locarno Turismo. <coughs> Which in English means the Leopard Award for being the most awesome in the world in the history of mankind. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's the translation. <laughs> so I, I accept this award with all humility and kindness and goodness and with the promise that awards like this encourage me to keep on trying to embody all the facets of life, to embody all the emotions, and to try to give that one more take, one more shot, one more emotion, and hopefully a little bit of love so that all of you feel a little joyful in a square like this, 8,000 of you watching the next film that you're going to watch tonight. And I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart and from India. Namaskar and dhanyavad. Mm. And God bless you all. Thank you so much. Cool. Why was he keep bringing up Italian? I, I do not know. Is, it, is there something to do with Italy with this? It must. He brought it up multiple times. It 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 must. And I don't know. I don't know because it is in Switzerland. Correct. Right? Okay. Yeah. Um. He's so charming. Uh, I wonder how many of these he has to do a year. Speeches. I'm sure he has to decline Most. countless. Because the number of people who would love to have him come somewhere to be honored by them, I'm sure he has to have constant declinations to... Well, I'm sure he doesn't hear about half of them. Oh, yeah. No, his, <laughs> gate, his gatekeepers do that. 
And then when a gatekeeper thinks something is possibly worthy of his consideration, they'll let him know and let him make a choice. But yeah. Yeah. What do you have to do for stuff like that? Obviously, you have to ship him there. I'm sh oh, as far as like yeah. what you have to do? Oh, you have to. <laughs> you have to put him up. In the five you have to star fly hotel. him first class first or class. private. <laughs> you have to. You might sure even have to private. pay him. You might even have to pay him. Yeah, at the very least, you you have to fly him first class or private. You you put him up in the presidential suite. You give him private limousine chauffeur. He's gonna have to have security, probably his own that he brings with him and his own people. He that he deserves. The, that's the least he deserves. Yeah, yeah, that's the least he deserves. Um. I wonder if he comes, I, I know he comes here, obviously, but I wonder if he, do you think he walks around here with security? No. I, I've heard him say that's one of the things he likes about coming to America is that he gets some semblance of anonymity. But you think he, like, obviously he's normal security that he, obviously he has to have in India. Yeah. <laughs> because of who he Most is. Most places in the world. But, like, if he was just walking down. I, it would in, not. In, 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 in uh, like, let's say, because he'd probably stay in um, Beverly Hills, right? But he has a house here, so. Yeah. Yeah. He'd walk it down Beverly Hills. Yeah, it would not surprise me if he can throw on a cap and some sunglasses and walk down Melrose. And very few people will know who he is. Mm-hmm. Now, if he's if he's dressed like that and go, walks into a restaurant, there's going to be people that recognize him. Is but if there's Indians, that's one of the benefits of Los Angeles for celebrity most is don't we're care. so accustomed to seeing them that most people, if they do care, they you know. In all honesty, even the paparazzi have a certain point of back off in so in places, mm -hmm. you know. So I saw a. Um an interview with Peter Dinklage. Somebody asked him, do you, think, do you think you're the most recognizable person on the planet? And he's, the reason he said that is because he goes out, he could put on sunglasses and a cap, <laughs> and gonna... people still know who he is. Of course, because of his stature. He told... Uh, it's uh, like Andre the Giant. He couldn't hide. He told the story. He was like, I was walking down in, in Brooklyn. I was walking down the street, had a cap and glasses on. There were paparazzi, and Leo literally walked past me and nobody knew who he was and he gave me a, like a look and he was like right and like, cuz no one knew who that was Leonardo DiCaprio walking but they knew who I was right. walking right by him uh, I, no. think, I think if you weren't in India he could put on a cap I don't even know if he needs to put on a cap here honestly uh cap and sunglasses and he could be ambiguous which has got to be wonderful liberating for oh uh, got to be wonderful uh it's probably for a lot of them why they come here a lot um is because <laughs> obviously, if there's Indians, they will know. Who of you course, are. they of will. Of course, they will. As will quite a few. I mean, he's global. There's people all over the world that know who he is. But yeah, you yeah. could he could walk in a mall <laughs> yeah. as long as there's not an Indian. I don't think anybody's stopping right. him. Right. Which is gotta feel amazing. Yeah. Even yeah. If there's just one person. It's probably gotta feel amazing if it's just one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For what he normally goes through, um, Amitabh Bachchan probably as well. Um, Shaq, I think, is probably the most recognizable. Well, for the same reason. Yeah. You can't miss but him. But for the opposite. Yeah. Stature. You can't miss him. Um, <laughs> if you if you have, a, like, a defining characteristic, you're going to get... You're going to get recognized. Um, recognized. Um, who would that be in India, though? With a defining physical characteristic? Yogi Babu. In the South, but... I mean, I guess... I mean, he, he's recognizable everywhere, but for sure in the South. If you, like I'm saying, if you can put on a ball cap and sunglasses. And hide. I most most celebrities from can. That, from what I'm thinking of in India, most don't have those, ext I mean, maybe Big B. He's really tall. He's tall. And he's like old, You could, people know his facial hair. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Um, so maybe him. Shavar, I mean, if Shavar Khan can cover his hair. Granted, people, he, people, he, might know still his, people might know his smell. Smell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to. Who are the other? I think Amir Khan could probably. I mean, if you see his ears, you might be able to tell. But um, and I think it's easier for the ladies because if the ladies really dress down and do not put on any glam, they can hide pretty well. Yeah, like if you could just be regular people. I think a lot of them would love that. 
But yeah, there's not like, I mean, that goes for most people. Leo's one of the biggest superstars on the planet, and he could walk down the street with a cap and does it all the time. Sunglasses. Yeah, so does Tom Cruise. Um, you can get it's just um, easy to do. You don't need to make a scene and make people granted, uh, look at you. LA's one we are used to celebrities right all the time, but also most people just don't care, and we don't really look at people. No, and we're like and when you we, see we, them, we have a place to go, and we're getting to our business. And it happens all the time. You'll be somewhere. Say you're out to dinner, and you'll 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 see someone you recognize. The normal pattern for people here is, don't look now, but I'm pretty sure that's fill in the blank over there at the table. And you look, says that's cool. And if it's somebody that you really love and would like to say something, you're hoping they maybe walk by the table that you're sitting at, and yeah. you just say, "Love your work." Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm sure there's tons of people, and the reason they have to do it is because there's people that will go up and disturb them. Yeah, there's people who have no idea. They just, like, one of the things I, I couldn't do, um, and I've been with celebrities who have, I've seen them handle this graciously, but, you know, you're out to dinner with somebody, and people just walk up to the table. Yeah. And most of the time, people are... Uh, the people I've been around have been very gracious and they don't mind, but I do though. Yeah. Don't ever come up to me or come on me. Don't do that either. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let us know what the producer can back to down below. Josh!